still Hibs lead by one goal to nil. A very high ball, that this will be a danger. And there you see the goalkeeper fumble it. Van Hoydonk scores. 59 minutes gone, and Celtic get the equaliser. And Hibs pay the penalty for the loss of the goalkeeper. And they pay the penalty for not having a goalkeeper in the bench because it was a fairly harmless high ball. Darren Jackson failed to gather it. And Andreas Tom then simply knocked it into the path of Pierre Van Hoydon. And it's just a matter then of side putting it into the back of the net. It's Celtic 1, Hibernian 1. They've struggled to get it away. That's McLaughlin. Leighton is down on the track side and uh, the referee is coming across. But, uh, the referee doesn't uh, look happy with matters. Meanwhile, uh, Darren Jackson has removed the goalkeeper's jersey. And it really is turning into a strange old afternoon. Well, the referee is restarting the game, and there's no goalkeeper. Well, this is quite remarkable. Leighton's on the, on the field. Jackson is running to get the goalkeeper's jersey. This is an absolute farce. And now the referee is running over to the linesman on the far side. Well, really... The official has lost the place here completely. It's just have stopped everything. I mean, we had the remarkable sight there of Darren Jackson running across the field to pick up the jersey, which was lying there, the goalkeeper's jersey. Leighton was actually on the part. Play was going on. There was nobody in the Hibernian goal. It really is. It's turned now from drama to high farce. Well, Jackson has the jersey back on now. We've got two goalkeepers. And now Leighton is being allowed back onto the field. Well, I've never seen anything like this. I just wonder if this will uh, move the football authorities to have a rethink on uh, substitutions. For many years in cup ties, it was unfair if a team lost a goalkeeper because there was no way back. Then they get the chance to have a sub goalkeeper, but uh, in a league game, the managers fancy the fact they can have uh, three outfield players for their tactical battle, and they tend to opt for that. And it's given us a set of circumstances here this afternoon which have been remarkable. But here comes Celtic again, it's Van Hoydonk, and that was well blocked by Andy Milne. Donnelly Head off now to McNamara Play by McNamara to the side netting So the ball driven in there and meanwhile as we watch that replay the referee again has been checking Jim Leighton referees have strict instructions if there is any sign of blood that the player has to leave the field the Hibs physio comes on again. But really, this match now has developed into an absolute farce. And you wonder if the players can get their concentration back. Paul Mick stays in there making a point. You do want to see Hibs have their goalkeeper back. But there's also the fact that Celtic are chasing a very dramatic championship here as well and there's got to be fairness shown to their players and with so many interruptions it helps no one it's a long ball now for Keith Wright to chase he's got a lot of work to do here though Here 
is Van Hoydonk. That's a good ball through to Simon Donnelly. Tom's through the middle. Peter Grant trying to support. Van Hoydonk's there as well. Collins is arriving. Here's Collins. Trying the shot. Breaks away now to Osh McKinley. McKinley doing well to get in the cross. Once again, it's David Farrell who's here. Return by Grant. It's Paul McStay! season, what an important one it might turn out to be, Jim Leighton got his hand to the ball, but because of the power of the shot, he couldn't keep it out, it's nicely played on there by Peter Grant, what a shot by McStay, Leighton got a touch on it, the ball went into the roof of the net, and Celtic 2, Hibernian 1, so 67 minutes gone, Paul McStay dramatically gives Celtic the lead.